Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Pyathlon. In today's video, I will be showing you the easiest way you can scrape data from the web using Python. So we're going to go ahead and dive right in. We're going to be using the pandas library to do this. So we're going to import pandas and we'll use the alias pd, which is the typical alias when you bring in the pandas library. Now, this kind of web scraping we're going to do in this video only works if you're scraping an HTML web page that has a table on it. So if there aren't any tables, you'll have to use a different web scraping method, which if you would like to see us cover that, leave a comment below. So this is the web page we're going to be scraping. It's a list of highest grossing films. This kind of web scraping works really well for Wikipedia articles or articles where you know that the data you want is consistently stored in the table element on the web page. So let's scroll down and this is the table we want. It's the highest grossing films. So what we need to do is we need to copy the URL to that. Once we have our URL copied to our clipboard, we're going to create a data frame. Well, actually, we're going to create a list that stores all of the tables on the web page. And we'll use that to access the data frame we want. So we'll call this highest grossing movies. And we'll set that equal to PD, which is re referring to pandas, that read underscore HTML. That's the name of the function we'll use to extract the data from these tables. And then in the quote inside the parentheses, inside of your quotes, you will paste that URL and then run that. And let's check the type of what that actually returned. And you can see it gives us the list. And we're going to check the length of that list to see how many tables that we find inside of that web page. And you can see we found 96 tables. Now, figuring out which one of those 96 tables is the one you want, you can do that multiple ways. You can go to the web, web page and count the tables and find it that way. Or you can just play around with it and just, you know, start with one and keep going up or start with zero and keep going up and see if you can figure it out. So that's what we'll do here. I've played around with this a little bit. And let's look at the first table. And this is actually what we were looking for. We wanted a data frame of the highest grossing movies. And that's what we have here. It just so happened to be the first table on our web page. So that worked out well for us. Another way you can figure out which table you want to get data from is you can look directly into your list. And here you can see that the first table is the one we wanted, but you can scroll down and you can see all of the tables that were scraped from that web page. So you can use this and then just figure out what would be the index of the particular data frame that you would like to have. And then you can use looking into this list to figure out what you should pass in here to find the index of the table you want. And once again, this is not a very complicated way of web, of web scraping. And what that means is it's also very limited in what it can do. It can only scrape from tables. So if your data is not in tabular format stored in a table element on an HTML file, then you won't be able to use this method. But if you would like to see more complicated web scraping methods or even see web scraping incorporated into a full on data science project, something you can use in a data science portfolio, then leave a like and a comment and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss those videos. We have a lot more Python programming content coming in the future. And we also have content on Raspberry Pi development and VBA programming. So go ahead and check out our page, like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe. And click the notification bell so you don't miss the upload. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.